Today we are going to be updating my mini Drobo. We're going to put some solid state drives in here, put some uh, MSATA memory in here and see if we can make this thing faster. Let's go! Any of you out there that might have a Drobo, you know how easy they are to use. If a drive fails, you pop it out, you put a new one in, it rewrites everything and you don't lose your data. That is the whole idea. The drives are super easy to get to. It's just this little magnetic cover that covers them up and they pop right out. So you just push on it and they will, well, push on it and then they pop out like that. So it just ejects them, simple, easy. I went through, these are one terabyte drives. These are also one terabyte drives. So I'm not gaining memory, I'm just gaining speed. Hopefully we're gonna find out. So I'm gonna pop all these out. I did back up everything that was on it. There's a couple terabytes of stuff on here and I backed everything up. I'm gonna go ahead and leave those in that configuration in case I need to put them back in. Hold on a second because this thing is dusty and I gotta clean it. This was really dirty, so I got it cleaned up. We got a little can of air and sprayed it all out, cleaned everything up, fresh start. So I've got these SSDs that we're gonna pop in here. Again, these are one terabyte solid state drives from SanDisk and they're gonna pop in the same way, just like this, put it in and then push that in. There are these little tabs on the back of here that say, please remove this before installing. So I'm going to read those instructions and follow that because I don't think these are going to help. So you want the pin side in and then you're going to face it up to the top and the top, just like that. And it doesn't matter which one goes where. There we go. They are installed. It was that easy. This cover goes back on like that magnetically snaps in place it's lighter I will give it that we're gonna put the MSATA which is this little guy right here in there and this is supposed to when you're working on a project this is supposed to be a little bit faster than the drives internally so this should actually store what the immediate project is that you're working on store those files right there so it's faster to, to process those things but we're gonna find out so the weird thing is, is I did a test before I removed those drives with it in and with it out and it was actually faster with it out of the, the Drobo. Maybe what we'll do is we'll do a test with it just like this before we put that in and then that way we can see if it does really slow it down because that was weird. So we just turned it on, did a little speed test to see how it was doing. It actually increased the speed by a little bit more than half. Um, that's really good. It's actually better than I thought it would be. We are still dealing with the Thunderbolt 2 on that, and that is the only input that is available on this drive. So your speeds are not gonna be that great in the first place. But let's pop this guy in. We'll do another test, and uh, we'll see if it does anything to increase the speed. I don't know that you would notice it, except for if you were working on a project but that guy just clips right in just like that and then you push it down just like that you can hear it click in and then these two little tabs on the end hold it down and then you have your fancy window here and you need to have a fancy tool to actually close this turn that lock it down and Let's try this and see what it does. Take a look at the specs. So we put the one terabyte solid state drives in and then we put the MSATA disk, or, uh, solid state chip in as well. So I didn't see a big difference with the chip in or with it out with the um, spinning drives versus the solid state drives. That's what made the biggest difference. So as you can see on our first test, we had about 144 as a write speed and 173-ish on a read speed. Or with the MSATA in, it actually slowed down the, the spinning drives because we we're looking at 128 uh, write and 156 read. So I don't know why that is, but 
with the solid state drives in, that's where we see this really big increase. So about 262 um, as a write speed and 316-ish uh, for a read speed. So we've increased the speed substantially and now it looks like I can work with a little bit more 4K footage without getting hangups. Um, we will see it's still not as fast as like the little um, drives that I've got, like the Samsung drives. Um, those things are really fast. You're getting speeds of like 400, um, 3, 390, 400 in there. I don't know why this isn't as fast because it is using a faster port. The other ones are using USB 2, which is what I have in my old computer here and in my laptop, in my Mac Pro trash can. And this is using Thunderbolt. So you'd think that the Thunderbolt would be much faster and you would think with the MSATA card and with the solid state drives that I would be actually, and because you're running four different drives, so you would think that I would be getting a way faster speed on that. But for whatever reason, we don't. So I'm pretty happy with this, to be honest with you. This is gonna be fast enough for what I'm using it for for the next couple of years anyway. Um, 4K HD, there's a lot of people that are talking about that and what they need and what they don't. The only reason I shoot 4K at all in the first place is if I need to zoom in. If I was in, in a situation like this where I had an object and I wanted to zoom in on it, I could do that with this camera because I'm shooting 4K. If I don't need to and I know what my shots are going to be and I know what they're going to look like and it's not necessary, it, it I, to me, I don't know. I have a hard time really looking at HD footage and 4K footage and really saying, oh, that looks way better. I, a lot of it, I can't even tell. The last thing I do want to pick up on is the Drobo itself. I've had Drobos for a really long time. They work really well. Um, I had a 12 bay one for a long time. The problem that, with them now is that you have to upgrade them to the new faster um, ports that are available in the new ones. When you're spending $1,200 for an enclosure, it, it, uh, it's hard to swallow when all of a sudden we come up with a new Firewire port, um, USB-C, whatever it is that's going to be next, it, it ruins the lifespan of that enclosure, obviously. So there's not much we can do about that. But like I said, I've had Drobos for a really long time. I really like them. They are very, very reliable. I've never had a problem with my Drobo. I've had drives fail. I've had to reinstall discs and there was actually one time I reinstalled one of my discs and then one of my other discs failed right after it got done writing took that one out put another one in it rewrote everything the next one failed I put that one a new one in the next day and it rewrote everything and I saved all of my data it, it, if two had failed at the same time I don't know what it was but I did buy all of them at once so after all of this went down. I think I only had five in my Drobo at the time. So after I did that, I added more and then I took out the ones that were in there that were failing. But I bought them all. They were all Seagates. They were all really cheap. So I don't know exactly what the deal was. Maybe they're only supposed to last for a year or something like that. But um, I do like the Drobo interface. I like the Drobo dashboard. You can look at your, your disc and you can see what's happening. Make sure that everything's healthy. You can see how much memory you have left. It's just the same thing as kind of hitting Apple Eye on your computer and getting information about your hard drive, except for they've got their own interface. So kind of cool, it's unique. Um, you can run all kinds of Drobos. I, at one time, I think I had four of them hooked up here. When I turn on my computer, Drobo, it pops up like it's a hard drive because speed is a big thing. And my next video, I'm gonna be taking my trash can and I'm upgrading the processors. So I bought a couple of these processors that are gonna go in my trash can that are gonna make it a 12 core, which should make that quite a bit faster too. Thank you guys for watching and you will see me in the next video. Let's go!